Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to Oil and Gas Training Series. In this video, we are uh, discussing about uh, process flow diagram. As you know, this is our uh, 28th video. Uh, if you didn't watch uh, our uh, previous video, starting from uh, a reservoir, uh, flow line, wellhead, etc., etc. So, kindly request you to watch all of the uh, videos uh, one by one. Take your time and watch the video. So, by this way, you can uh, develop better knowledge in oil and gas operation. So, process flow diagram. Welcome to this video. As you know that uh, process flow diagram, the process flow diagram is an extremely simplified schematic drawing of a plant. So PFD is uh, any drawing, engineering drawing, any drawing using in uh, process operation, oil and gas uh, plant, chemical industry is a schematic drawing of a plant. So it is a uh, simplified document to explain uh, from one the process of uh, starting from one end to another end so it's a simplified schematic drawing of a plant shows only the major equipment items and the major process flow stream process flow diagram are never to scale better and make no attempt to show equipment orientation except as to the order in which they occur in the process <coughs> Ultimate simplicity that enabled the operator to quickly see major equipment and easily follow and understand the process and flow of streams through the plant. So let us take a simple example. So this one is a, a PFD, simple one. We cannot say that 100% exact PFD. It is a simplified one. So let us see that one from uh, always PFT starting from one end that is a left side. So the entry point is there, the feed is entry. And uh, the column, uh, uh, standard symbols are using here. So see the valve we use this symbol, line we use this symbol, and a tower using this symbol, heat exchanger using this symbol, pump using this symbol, uh, sorry, pump using this symbol, and uh, reboiler is using this symbol, and a small tank, uh, or uh, a vessel is using a uh, reflex uh, drum is using this way separator so this 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 way etc etc uh, we are going to study in detail this one all the symbols almost all the symbols we are using in uh, explaining um, drawing pfd and uh, p and id we will uh, study in our uh, coming uh, videos so so in pfd also we use uh, so most of the time we use uh, Standard symbols are recommended by various companies and various standard institutions. So that symbol we will use this one and we can get the flow from where it is starting and going. Simply let me explain this so, This one. Simple explanation, don't go for advanced level. So the feed is entering from here and the sour gas is entering and sweet gas is going up. So that that the end of this one. And then make up water is entering here and uh, rich amine is uh, settling here. So, so after the separation, one chemical is uh, separating one of the component. That component is going here and uh, it is heating. And rich amine is entering here. Then it is coming here or it is going up and in the reflux form it is returned back. So here it is uh, again uh, liquid is taking and reboiling and uh, entering back. And later is a pure uh, amine is taking back the pump and lean amine is coming back. And lean amine is coming by heat exchanger and cooling and uh, lean amine is entering here. So in this way, uh, it will uh, explain uh, within one or reading uh, carefully one or two time and going outside the plant to see the real uh, positive uh, physical equipment in the field. So any... Uh, a operator or any new person or anyone can understand uh, a process operation in uh, properly so but uh, here it is not some details are not showing here basically more instrumentation and control system are not showing but basic understandings are here 
so absorber uh, sometimes they will give operating ranges and the regenerator temperature and uh, pressure also given here see it is written absorber 35 to 50 degree c and 5 to 205 atmosphere absolute pressure that is the operating range of absorber and the regenerator is giving 115 to uh, 126 degree C and 1.4 to 1.7 atmospheric absolute pressure at the tower bottom. So some details they are providing here. So this is a typical example of a PFD process flow diagram. This is also another example of a process flow diagram. I am not going to explain this one. I am just to taking from Google this one. Just giving. We will give what are the important features of a, a PFD. So PFD converts the major uh, processing steps are represented by the equipment what are the items useful conveying the heat and the material balances so that it will give some uh, material coming from one place to another and material balance also they will give <coughs> useful for conveying uh, total heat balance and material balance they will give useful for conveying major pieces of equipment all major pieces of equipment they will give see Mainly all major of uh, equipments they are giving, the uh, furnace is there, pump is there, feed tank is there, another pump is there, distillation column or any column, one of the column is there and another pump is there, heat exchanger is there. So various symbols, a reactor is there, another heat exchanger is so there, various type of heat exchanger, this is a, uh, another reactor is there, so product tank is there, so etc, etc, like they will give uh, useful for conveying major pieces of equipment and useful for conveying processing conditions also they will give how they will give processing condition so this is see the processing condition here it is a regenerator and here it is a uh, sorry here it is an absorber and here it is a regenerator and process condition what is happening one by one they will give how it is going and what it is happening reactions also some chemical uh, reaction also they will give so etc etc so useful for conveying utilities utilities sometime they will give some uh, water supply lane uh, instrument in, uh, instrumentation air air supply instrument air supply lane and steam supply lane uh, nitrogen supply lane also that is uh, coming uh, that is the utility lane also they will provide there are no hard and fast rule this is very important there are no hard and fast rule but how at standard include at least they have to include Essentially, every major piece of equipment, we have to add all major piece of equipment. That is important. Every flow that is starting from one location, one place to another, moving from left to right. Temperature, what is the possible? Pressure, that is possible. Auxiliary services like utility, instrumentation, air and steam, water supply, cooling water line, process water line, then uh, instrument and nitrogen line, inert gas line, etc that they have to give then equipment sizes the sizes you have to give uh, heat exchanger and pump in a different shape and uh, the important thing is uh, standard symbols and abbreviation we have to use process control whatever possible some extent not in a uh, full depth process control but at least minimum process control we have to provide uh, the flow sheet should generally flow from left to right the flow, uh, flow sheet should not be cluttered. Use multiple sheet. At least uh, some area, one unit you have to provide in one paper, one sheet and uh, you use the another one in another sheet like that one. Don't put uh, all together in one sheet. So flow sheet should be in landscape with the bound edge at the top. The equipment should be drawn approximately relative size. Example, tower larger than drum. Always uh, in the previous uh, drawing, it is showing that one tower, uh, a column absorber is uh, larger than a drum. Some, 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 some of the equipments are in vertical, some of them are in a horizontal position. So that type of uh, simple uh, basic uh, uh, design features or basic information you have to provide in a proper way. Exchanges larger than pump, etc. The major towers and reactors are generally in one, nearly one level. So, uh, size also, the positions also providing some uh, always in the same level. The reader should be able to follow it with his or her high. 
the stream should be have minimum of uh, direction of change always they will provide a direction change the streams that enter across the battery limit should be on left the which is entering from the feed first uh, entry point the stream that leave across the battery limit should be on the right the streams that move to the next sheet should leave to the right the stream that recycle to earlier sheet should leave on the left so these informations are you keep in the mind uh, just to go uh, into your plant in your uh, processing area collect your pfd read and understand and always use the standard symbols anyhow we will take a standard symbols most of the recommended symbols are practicing here so you will get a clear idea on that one so after that one you can made your own pfd so see i will uh, give some uh, examples of uh, pfd here see like, like this one see the feed is here starting from the left it is clear and the feed is here this is the air filter and this is a compressor showing some, some uh, not only this type of thing some other uh, standard symbols are also using for compressor and uh, ammonia is entering here it's a vaporizer and a reactor and uh, like this one this is a cooler and this is the water heater uh, this is a heater another filter is there another uh, condenser is there see different type and a tank is there and a mixer is there like that one another one uh, we can see this one let me take a this one uh, see we will take uh, in this one see crude oil it's a atmospheric distillation column gas is coming gas processing like that one here uh, you see here only square boxes or rectangle boxes you see uh, but this is also uh, see the standard uh, hard and fast rule is not there so this is also you can consider as a pfd so this one is explaining about a, a refinery from the crude uh, uh, crude oil is entering to the atmospheric uh, distillation column and from that one various uh, uh, value added product is uh, developing and processing like this one lpg and butane light naphtha heavy naphtha jet fuel diesel oil and atmospheric gas oil so where is that one? don't go for in details this one so this way also you can explain you can simplify a pft that is what uh, i want to clear it here okay so another one is uh, another one look at to this one uh, this one vaporizer see here it is using some like look like a 3d image that also possible uh, simplified but uh, the thing is the flow should be uh, clearly understanding a, a newcomer if a new person to read this one at least he has to understand that only here vaporizer is there filter is there and uh, uh, nitrogen air mixer is there catalyst recovery chamber is there condenser is there and some valve is there like that one at least he need a, a, an air compressor is there like that one he need to he should clearly understand that one oh this is the process this type of equipments are there in the field so before reading a detailed uh, p and id the person can get an idea about uh, uh, process how the process is flowing so that is the importance of uh, p and id Thanks for watching this video. I kindly request you to uh, develop your own PNID from your process plan and uh, take time to understand what are the symbols are using and uh, read whatever available PNID with you and develop your PNID on your process. So that way you can uh, develop, you can practice and uh, understand how to develop and how to read, how to understand, how to design a PNID. Thanks for watching this video. Definitely we are starting a large section of the training in uh, from next video onwards that is the piping and instrumentation diagram or process and instrumentation diagram. So uh, in that one the beginning we are uh, going to uh, explain about various uh, symbols using in PNID. So uh, see you soon again. Uh, uh, thanks for watching this video. and. Uh, Please join our telegram channel in force by Hamsa Vibhava and uh, please subscribe this channel for uh, timely updation and information and uh, share this channel to other friends also those who are not watching uh, so far. Please share this channel. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.